Further member statements? The member from Windsor to come see. Thank you, Speaker. I'd like to take the opportunity to tell this legislature about one of the brightest of the crown jewels within the artistic community of Windsor and Essex County. The Windsor Symphony Orchestra has been putting on concerts for the past 76 years. It was formed initially to raise funds for local servicemen serving overseas. Those early con uh, concerts were broadcast live every Sunday evening on CKLW Radio. The Windsor Symphony was awarded the Ontario Lieutenant Governor's Arts Award in 2001 and again in 2004. They've been nominated for a Gemini Award. The speaker, the, the symphony goes into the local schools. They work with Ontario's curriculum and create educational programming that touches the lives of those eager to learn more, as well as those who have yet to experience the power and energy of live orchestral music for the first time. They also have a youth orchestra, and they do an amazing job in their peanut butter and jam music series for toddlers and their parents. Speaker, just so you know, astronaut Chris Hadfield performed his first concert on Earth with the Windsor Symphony. Of course, no orchestra would be complete without a team of volunteers. The Symphony Guild puts on a number of fundraising events every year. They have a fashion show coming up that will celebrate not only the creativity of the orchestra, but also that of our top Canadian designers, all in celebration of Canada's 150th anniversary. Speaker, we have a great team of professional musicians in Windsor and Essex County, led by Maestro Robert Franz, and they have an amazing team of volunteers and supporters behind them. So a tip of the hat to the Windsor Symphony Orchestra from all of us here at the Ontario Legislature. Thank you.